this is quite a controversial area, but it's thought that uh, the, the processes in the brain that take place when a rich recollection is triggered may be different from those which take place when you simply recognize uh, a face or a, uh, a place as, as being familiar. So um, uh, this is sometimes, sometimes called the, the, the butcher on the bus phenomenon. If you, if you see someone out of context, you may know that you know them. You may have a very strong sense of familiarity, but you may be unable to remember anything about them. You may not be able to, to, to conjure up a, a kind of recollection of the circumstances in which you've met them before. Um, and then something may trigger that recollection. So you can move from knowing that someone is very familiar but being able, unable to remember anything about them to, to having quite a rich um, recollection of, say, the circumstances in which you met them last. And that's the, that's the difference that we were interested in in capturing. And that is an investigation of uh, memory in normal um, psychology, psychology undergraduates who wore the sense cam uh, while they were going about their normal business uh, around Exeter. Uh, and they were then uh, called back the following day and viewed uh, sense cam images, some of which were their own, some of which were sense cam images obtained by others walking around in Exeter. Uh, and they viewed the images while they were lying in a functional uh, magnetic resonance imaging scanner, F fMRI scanner, so that we were able to ask them which of the images they uh, recognized, which as their own, which of the images that they recognized as their own triggered a detailed memory, which were simply familiar, and which images were novel, unfamiliar to them. Uh, and we were then able to uh, correlate brain activation while they were looking at images which triggered a, a rich memory, images which were simply familiar, and images which were, were novel. Uh, there is a theory that the, a part of the brain called the hippocampus is crucial for rich recollection, whereas adjacent regions may be uh, required for familiarity. Uh, and we wanted to explore that distinction in, in the scanner. And in fact, the results which we've obtained uh, don't really support that uh, distinction. So. We, we found that the hippocampus seems to play a role um, in recollection, but also in, in familiarity.